Shalom, shalom. I want to first start off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rekha, Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone and teacher Ruel and that overseer's tabernacle of David. Shalom on to the hopefully let this giving diligence man that call lecture short across four corners of the earth. Shalom on to the angels with this day and shalom on to the few to say our wife and sisters that subject to the truth and our sincerity. All right. And one topic I want to touch on um, today, it was a topic touched on many times, a couple times next last week about the slave Bible and, and it being used, you know, to uh, for the slaves to be obedient to the so-called white man. Okay. Trying to trying to uh, basically fit the scriptures to fit their needs, you know, use the scriptures to fit their needs. All right. Uh, let me start with Ephesians chapter six, okay. And then that, and Marcus Marcus and scoffers also try to use this tactic to come against the scriptures. You know, it's saying slaves obey your master, but you don't. You gotta understand the context. You gotta you gotta have an understanding, okay, which the masses do not, okay. But that's why the prophets are used to bring out this word, the men of the Lord. All right, the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, Miss I go to start uh, Ephesians chapter six verse five. I'm gonna highlight these two. Hold on. Ephesians chapter six verse five. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Hamashiach. Okay, and so they try to use that verse, verse five, going to uh, to the slaves that were in the slave trade, or before, or before the slave trade, you know, and, and, um, for them to obey their masters. Okay. For them to brainwash the slaves with, with with deception, basically. Okay? But it's not referring to that. Your masters according to the flesh, man. All right? Well, that will be the apostles and the elders. Okay? With fear and trembling. And singleness of I is, that, is of you being focused, man. Focus only on Hamashiach only. Okay? Verse 6. But it also is it, balanced, though. It's a balance with it, too. Verse 6, as it goes into. It says, not with eye service as man pleases, but as servants of Hamashiach, doing the will of of the most high from the heart so with sincerity you're not doing it for vain glory man pleases like the church or for money you know i service for you to, for it to look good you know you wouldn't do it out of sincerity of your heart man you gotta feel it and you gotta you gotta want it you know for this truth you gotta love it man all right verse seven with good with good with doing service as to the lord and not to men okay you doing and you doing that you doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah, not for men, please, not for the not for vain glory, not for attention, you know, not to use it as a uh escape route to get on the so-called white man just because you hate him or get on or get on these two-thirds niggas that's out here, you know. Cause you you can see it, man, with some with some um with some congregations. You can we can see it, man. We can we witness this. All right, and that's just come with experience. All right, verse eight. So, and it says, verse 8, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he, whether he be bond or free. Okay? So, whether well, good thing, it's, it's all about the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Verse 9, it says, and ye masters do the same things to them for forbearing, threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven. Okay? So, just because you have some ranking that you, that you are an apostle or elder, man, hey, we, 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 all, we all worship, okay? The ones that said the truth I'm um, pertaining to. You know, we all worship Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, the most high in the name of the Son. Okay? The Heavenly Father. That's our master in heaven. It says, Neither is there respect of persons with him. He's no respect of persons. As the scriptures say with Psalms 37 and 28, and it, he loved judgment. He loves judgment. Mashapatyum in the Hebrew. Many judgments coming upon the earth. He loved judgment. He's not a respect of persons. He don't care who you are and what and what you are, man. Let me go to uh, Colossians, uh, just to precept the topic at hand. Colossians chapter 3, verse 22. All right. Colossians chapter 3, verse 22. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. And are we not servants? Are we not servants for Yahweh Bashim Shah? Has he not instilled order in the apostles and elders of the great millstone on the earth? You know, this thing is all about order. Okay, and it says again, not with eye service as men pleases, but in singleness of heart, fearing, fearing the most high. Okay, all, it's all the fear and trembling. We all work on our own salvation, but we got to, we fall, must follow the order. That's what, that's what that's, those scriptures are going into. Verse 23, and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. So this, this is going, it's just going into being, just being sincere in everything you do. Everything you do should be sincere. You, do, you should have to force anything, you know. Verse 24. Knowing that, knowing that of the Lord, ye shall receive the reward of, him in his, of the inheritance. 
for Yisha served the Lord Hamashiach. Okay, so how we gonna so for the for us to even get to the Most High Yahweh, we must go through Yahweh Shah. Okay, He's so significant to our deliverance, to our salvation. Okay, verse twenty five. But he that do a wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, and there is no respect of persons. Okay, so if somebody is abusing the gospel, you know, using it, using it to uh to get over on brothers or the servants, I must say, as the scriptures say, you know, his reward is coming. That reward could be many judgments, many judgments, man. Okay, it can it can be a, in the worst judgment if you taking out uh is he, is, uh is your how about me outside taking you out the truth? That's probably the worst, man. Okay, have you not have it not have you not have any faith anymore at all? You know, you not believing you're an Israelite anymore, not believing you have to do any work. You know, those uh such things. You know, then I get one last one just to end it off. First Timothy chapter six, verse one. I started verse one. It says, "Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor." See, that just proves you proves to you that the masters referring to in the scriptures are we're talking about the apostles and elders. Okay, so Paul, for example, for example, Paul in the scriptures would be a master because he had, he had he had learners under him. You know, it says count. I start with verse verse one. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. And do we not count the uh the elders? Do we not give double honor to the elders as First Timothy chapter five verse seventeen says? You know, worthy of all honor that the same name of that the name of Most High and His doctrine be not blasphemy. So it's all about the doctrine. So y'all blasphemy the doctrine. Y'all lying on the gospel when you when you trying to mock and scoff say, oh man, that was used for the white man. You know, and with the slave Bible, they went if it, if they wrote the book, they won't have to take anything out. If you trying to, if you want to use logic, you know, people don't use their head back in man. People don't, our people don't use their head, man. They just take anything with the so called white man give them, or what they hear. Do no research themselves, man. All right, but that's why we call you you niggas and you two third women. No two third niggas and nigger women. You know, simple. You know, the black Hispanics and Native Americans, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. We simple as hell, you know. We too prideful, arrogant for no reason, but all that is about to come to an end, and it's it's going to be beautiful because we're going to see you fall, and you can, and we and we say that too because the scriptures speak about seeing your enemy fall, living to see your enemy fall, and that's what we're preparing to do, live to see our enemy fall, the heathen, Gawanyam, and our enemies, Abiyam Nawa, okay, verse two, and they that have believing masters, so to believe, you got to follow the laws, have your commandments, do the work. Which are the apostles and elders Believing masters Yes we have believing masters Okay It says let them not despise them Because they are brethren See you're still brothers The apostles and elders are still our brothers At the end of the day We're all fighting for we all fighting for the same goal You know I had an elder tell me that uh, Through text messages He's like hey man You know hey, I'm fighting for salvation Just like you You know And I'm just, it made me sit It let me lean back in my seat Like hey that, that is true now You know that is true But still Still got to respect order it says, but rather to them service because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort, okay? The apostles and elders edify and they exhort, exhortation. They encourage, they motivate through, through their lessons, you know, through their teachings, through, the, through them, them being an example in this walk, you know, all things, man. So that's what that topic is really going into. I just want to touch on that, uh, you know, right now because it came on my mind a couple, a couple days ago, you know, came on my spirit. So I just thought to bring it out, okay? Because Marcus and Scarford, they'll try to use that tactic. These fake conscious groups try to use that tactic to try to come against the scriptures. But, hey, you can't do it. When, and once we truly bring out the true understanding of the scriptures, you can't do it, man. You just can't. The truth is the truth, whether you like it or not. A lie is a lie, even if everybody believes it. <laughs> you know? And the truth is the truth if, if even only one believes it. All right? Okay, and this is your brother Shamak, and I'll end up by giving all the glory, infinite praise on two. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kadash. Double honor to the Apostle Elders, Great Millstone, Teacher, Will Wednesday, O.C.S. Time, Naka, David. Peace, love, and Satan to the hopeful elect that's giving me diligence, man. They call it short across four corners of the earth. All right, Shalom, man. Mawafu, Ball. Keep the faith.